Obviously, some of our staff colluded with the contractor. Which staff? Benjamin and Fadile. Ah, the Dickin. Yes, sir. Even Fadile is a Christian. Sir, there is no difference between born again Christians and other people. I see. So, how much are we talking about here? 6.8 million naira, sir. What? 6.8 million naira? So, how do we recover our money back? We can probably sell the casings as scraps for 3 million naira. Then we insist that Benjamin and Fadile refund the 3.8 million naira, or else we press charges against them with the police. I think we should terminate the appointment immediately, sir. Definitely. But uh, do we have someone to take over their job? Yes, sir. Miss Oyewusi. She can take over their responsibilities easily. It was uh, Miss Oyewusi that uh, uncovered the fraud, wasn't it? Yes, sir. That girl is good. She is good. I told you, sir, she is the best staff in the department. Um, this is uh, Mrs. Thomas. It's one of our new consultants. You're welcome. Thank you. So, gentlemen, I'll go straight to the point. A very big project is in the pipeline, which will require our relying heavily on one of our suppliers. We need your candid advice on the capabilities of the supplier. Which supplier is that, sir? Dynamic Drilling Supplies Company, DDSC. Ah, DDS. It is run by Chief Jackson again. They are very, very reliable. In fact, the quality of their casings is excellent. You are sure of the quality of their products? Uh, oh yes, we usually check the supplies uh, to us. So if they were to supply cases of dubious quality, you are sure you will know? Ah, uh, definitely. My personal supplies are I see. So gentlemen, can you explain how come the cases that were supplied were defective. Defective? Are you sure, sir? Dead sure. Didn't you examine the quality of the cases when they were delivered? I did, sir. Sir, I, I don't know anything about this, sir. I don't. But you just said you personally supervised dealings with them. I, I, but look, sir. Your signature is all about the documents. Oh, but then, sir, this is. Now listen to me, Benjamin. We want our money back. If you pay the money, we won't press charges. If you do not, you will have to spend the next 20 years with hardened criminals in maximum security prisons. We are sorry, sir. Shut up! I, I, I don't know anything about this. Please don't so call the police, sir. I don't know what this boy is talking about, sir. Mr. Benjamin, it's better we confess now while we have the chance. Gentlemen, I am Inspector Thomas from the Fraud Investigation Unit of the Nigeria Police. Please. You will need to come down to our station. So, gentlemen. Eh? Two of you. Yeah. Put out your statement, officer. I don't know what you are talking about. I say write your statement. I say I don't know what you are talking about. I explain. Why are you begging me? Are you the foreigner? Let me write down in your statement. Not following you. What is wrong with this one? What are you begging you? What are we going to do now? Damn it! I thought you said it was a legitimate deal. I said it was a neat deal. And it was. Until they started investigating. I shouldn't have listened to you. Why, why are you saying that? After all, I just saw this as the world of the healing. 
which the Lord had promised uh, for us, his children. The Lord is my shepherd. I shall not want.